Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss a common error regarding multiplication. Now, in many classes, especially children that do science, they tend to use the concept called cross multiplication. Now cross multiplication is one of the most useful methods you can get when solving for x in a fraction. You use it in sections like trigonometry, in normal solving for fractions, you use it in number patterns, you use it in almost any concept of maths that has a fraction, you would have cross multiplication. Now while we are at it, there's another concept called cross cancel. Now many pupils make a mistake with these two concepts. Cross multiplication, there are two rules. Number one, it needs an equal to sign. And number two, you may only have one fraction on either side of the equal to sign. So you can't have more than two fractions basically. Let's take the following example. If I have 2x over 9 is equal to 4 over 6. Now, I have two fractions, one on each side, and I have an equal to sign, which is a very important part that you need for cross multiplication. Then you crossing. It's exactly in the name. I'm taking 2x times 6. So I'm cross multiplying is equal to 4 times 9. Now, now it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if I put 4 times 9 on my left hand side and I put 2x times 6 on my right hand side. It will not change your answer. Once we've crossed multiplied, we can now solve using normal simplifying and solving for x rule. So we have 12x is equal to 36 and then we divide by 12 and we have x is equal to 3. Now when we're doing cross cancel, cross cancel there is no equal to sign. That's the major big thing or the major difference between the two questions. Okay let's take the following example. 3x over 2y times 4xy over 12x squared. Notice no equal to sign. Now what do we do? This is more your exponent rules where you would cancel. But how can you cancel? You can cross cancel. So I can cancel the y with the y on top. So the y at the bottom can cancel with the y on top even though it's across it. The standard way of cancelling is usually when you cancel top and bottom. So if I was going to cancel this x with this x, can you see I'm cancelling top with bottom? But pupils forget that they can cancel cross with. So y with y gives me cross cancel. Now we can continue. This x can still cancel with the x at the bottom. Then I can cancel the 2 with the 4 leaving me with 2 on top. But can you see I'm cross cancelling. Then we've got the 3 can go into itself once and to 12 four times. You've now totally cancelled. How do we get our answer? Top times top, 1 times 2 over bottom times bottom. Now there's nothing here so it's referred to as a 1. So our final answer is 2 over 4 which equals 2 half. These two concepts are usually confused. Especially children doing science, they use the cross multiplication rule a lot. But then when they come to cross cancelling, they start cross multiplying and before you know it, we have a big mess. So know the differences between these two concepts and you will be okay. In maths, we use cross multiplication a lot. Cross cancelling comes out very rare. Thank you for watching.